Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, now this is going to fry your mind, but it's better that I fry your mind than Elon Musk if he fries your mind. Now, Elon Musk is a fascinating individual, a brilliant man. I mean, he created PayPal, all right? Then he sold that company and created SpaceX. And he, this guy's able to fire off rockets and make them land back down on a moving platform on the water. Well, he wants to take things to another level with your brain, with your consciousness, maybe your soul. Elon Musk has formed a new company called Neuralink. Now, he will be the vehicle for the development of the Neural Lace. Neural Lace. Musk discussed this on Twitter and other places, including the Wall Street Journal, but now he has confirmed the existence of his new company and uh, more details will be coming in about a week. Well, here's what it's going to do in a nutshell. The neural lace Musk has talked about is typically described as an implant or an appendage that would be attached to the brain that would provide a way for brains to interact with devices or computers or otherwise augment the human intelligence. We're talking AI here. We're talking AI for sure. No doubt about it. Uh, speaking at a code conference in 2016, uh, e Elon Musk said to think of the arrangement this way. You have your limbic system, the cortex, and then a digital layer, sort of a third layer above the cortex of the brain that could work well and symbolically, symbiotically with you. Uh, though the lace would interact directly with a person's brain, Musk said implanting it might not require extensive surgery, remarking, uh, remarking that it could be injected into the veins. An insertion. I've been talking about this how long? But what I didn't know is they would insert this thing in the vein and then it would flow up to the brain and then you would be able to start communicating with your computer. And you would start receiving, the computer would also communicate to you. Now, we're talking mind-altering consciousness affecting of the soul of humanity. Is this what the Bible meant when it said he calls them both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to take a mark? He caused them to do it. In other words, in other words once they were in, in intertwined into the transcriptic digital universe, your ability to filter, your ability to reason, do you lose your will? Are we talking artificial intelligence of the human capacity? Now, the journal, the Wall Street Journal, reports that one of Musk's co-founders at Neuralink is a guy by the name of Max Hodax. Max Hodax. You want to get the, let that guy get a hold of your brain? <laughs> Max Hodax. Now you, now you fry your brain. Okay. Well, he's also is a co-founder at a company called Transcriptic. Now, Hodax bio at the Transcriptic website says that he was a research assistant at Duke University Medical Center where he built brain machines that interfaced for monkeys. And as a member of the lab, he witnessed a regular basis the inefficiencies of basic laboratory work that he felt were ripe for robotic optimiz optimization. So he learned a lot about interfacing um, with uh, machines with the brains of monkeys, but he felt that Duke University could have taken this thing on a whole nother level, but they didn't. He has founded a company called Transcriptic, and now he is linking up with Elon Musk. The neural lace, neural lace, the AI, 
the mark of the beast technology advancing to another whole level with an insertion. Are you serious? Did I just read this article? Is this what is going on? Are we in the last days? Are you saved? Is the beast about ready to rise? 